here I'm holding a mask, which I just took off, um, and um, all of our staff are wearing wearing masks, um, and uh, we encourage our guests to wear them as well, and wherever you're not able to keep about two meters away, or at least one and a half. But as far as, you know, all the um, exiting or entering and exiting different uh, spaces, um, disinfecting and sanitizing everything in the, in the rooms, all the high touch points, elevator buttons, uh, we're, we already were at a very high level of um, cleanliness, but now we've, um, we've actually upgraded and changed um, our uh, chemicals that we're using um, so that we maintain a, a, a very secure and safe environment for our guests. But it, it was, um, we had, to, had a great deal to do um, and, uh, like I said, to research, and, uh, but I feel very confident in, so, in what we're offering for our guests. And thus far, for this last week, um, our guests have responded really positively and said that they feel very comfortable and very confident uh, when they see the precautions that we've taken. Um, but it, it's been a lot of work, and it is, it is not, uh, it's not going away. It will be continuing. Um, I think this is going to be a, a new, new world uh, that we're in. So how is demand in this new world? How are you finding tourism on the rock at the moment? It felt a bit uncertain, um, I would say, for sure, for the last couple of months. But now, um, you know, there's been an uptick in the amount of flights, um, really to the level of about uh, more than 50% uh, than what it was uh, before the lockdown. Uh, so back in, let's say, February levels or March. And, um, and that is really positive uh, because as, you, as we are here in Gibraltar, you know, people, the majority of people to come here typically as they're coming from the UK are flying. Uh, so the more flights that are available, the more opportunities for people to come. And it, um, it's really positive in that sense. I mean, um, as I mentioned in our discussion earlier, you know, it's even at the level uh, higher than what it was uh, after Monarch um, uh, stopped flying. So I'm very encouraged. And our business levels that we're experiencing now on a daily basis um, is already um, at the level that it was prior to lockdown, for instance, for this month on a daily basis. So um, I'm very optimistic. And what of the future? Do you think that COVID will have a long-term effect on the business? Yeah, that's a that's a really good question. My uh, my uh, view in the horizon, in the distance, is. Uh, it's a bit uncertain, but um, without a doubt, uh, because I, I just hear what uh, what people are saying, our guests and, and so forth, uh, that there um, there's a little bit, I would say, uh, just for the near future. But undoubtedly, uh, we're going to need to learn to live with this. I think. And what are the long-term plans for the Sunborn? Are they staying in Gibraltar? Yeah, yeah very much so. We're committed to Gibraltar. Uh, we have been since day one. Um, and I think now more than ever coming together as a team and a family and um, you know Gibraltar means a great deal to, to the Sunborn and I think vice versa and so um, yeah I think the future is bright.